wide grip dips are my number one raw stimulus chest and front delt builder. Um, but even at three sets of three RIR or lower, gives me severe DOMS lingering up to four days later. Is the volume loss worth the sheer stimulus? Yes, I would guess so. I will take I will take a slightly lower volume working volume uh, with something we feel is like extra effective on a set to set basis. Um, you know, especially because like you said, loading that extended range of motion um, is, is kind of shown the deeper the positioning that we're running through the ROM, uh, the greater a stimulus we're probably going to get. Um, I think that you're an experienced lifter. So uh, your subjective guess is quite valuable compared to someone who has not been doing this quite a while, right? Like I would say that uh, after a certain while, you have a general feel for the uh, the type of fatigue that's going to elicit the adaptation we're looking for, right? Because people will say, oh, we'll run a marathon, you'll get sore. That doesn't mean you're going to grow from it, right? But uh, I think that a experienced lifter, their subjective uh, interpretation of exercise selection kind of ramps up in importance. Um, mm -hmm. Angular. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to bump you there. Right. Is there too low to go, or do we? No, want to go? we're gonna we're gonna work on that too. Okay. So get this feel of half press, half half fly. You're doing presses the hard way. So this is a press. Yeah. But you're gonna do it the hard way. You're gonna make it harder by now. Do one straight up and down again, and feel how easy that is compared to what you were doing. That's a regular right. press. Now do a full fly, and that's really a lot harder than what you're doing, right? Right. So if if that's true, then you're blending them well. Rest for a second. Here's what's next. I want you to actually rest for a second. I'll just describe what's next for you. So you can set those down for a second. Remember what you said about the stretch, right? Yes. Okay, that's a good idea, right? Mm -hmm. I think I want more stretch. Right. So imagine you have the dumbbells and you're gonna do your blend. <laughs> Bring your arms back, you're blending. So start up here. Okay. Yeah, and it's half press, half, half fly. Now at this point, what I need you to do is two things. One, and, and watch, watch what happens to the stretch when he, when he does these two things. One thing is pull the scapula together and pinch back here. Mm -hmm. And that gave me a little bit more, that gave you a little more stretch, did it not? Yep. Yeah, quite a bit. Now the second thing, and this is the critical part that I don't think a lot of people know about. If the dumbbells are outside this uh, axis of rotation and not directly above it, when they go out, they will naturally want to push down to the ground. But we're going to take that, that, uh, that push, the weight of the dumbbell, and we're going to allow it to push in towards the, the it'll, it'll push you. you won't, you're pulling it now because you have to. Mm -hmm. But when there's weight here, so that can pull the, these elbows. And so what I tell people is to try to touch your elbows behind you. <laughs> and the weight will help you a lot. You'll see this. Yeah. This is going to be your start position now. You're going to start from here okay. and then do your half press, half with the extra super added stretch. Yeah, this bench is still a little wide. Cause it is, it's a wide supportive but, bench. But it's not a bodybuilding bench. We're at a power what? shot. Let's talk about using that. Let's do an isometric against the bench. You can, and, and that, 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 makes, <sighs> that makes good sense. That's hard. Yeah. What do you feel about the abs too? Should I kind of curl under? Ir irrelevant. You okay. can do whatever you want to. We could change the angle of the of the... Uh, of, of the rib cage to affect something different. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true, but let's leave that for another thing. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so, so now tuck your elbows in, pull them in, and then for you, it's gonna be the, the bench. Yeah, I'm stuck at the bench now. Yeah, I think if I laid on there, I might be able to pull my elbows 